The US supported a military dictator in the 1970s named Augusto Pinochet. How did he get into power? With a ton of help from the CIA, help that the US has openly admitted to, of course. Pinochet and other military leaders led a coup to overthrow the democratically elected president of Chile, Salvador Allende. Salvador Allende had major public support from a broad coalition of the working class. He advocated for a platform of social and economic reforms, including nationalization of key industries, land redistribution, and increased access to education and healthcare. His policies were centered around the goal of reducing social inequality and improving the lives of ordinary Chileans. The coup was motivated in part because Allende took back copper production from American companies and made them the property of the people of Chile by nationalizing the industry. Not to mention, Allende was leading a popular and innovative socialist government that was making huge progress in creating an alternative model to the harshness and inequality of capitalism. The US-backed leader, Augusto Pinochet, went on to terrorize Chile for two decades, illegally detaining, torturing, and killing over 10,000 people according to the Chilean government. In lesser-known history, the Pinochet government hosted torture sites and prisons on the compound of a pedophilic German cult known as Colonia Dignidad, one of the many atrocities of the regime. But things were great for the US. IBM, Coca-Cola, Chase Manhattan Bank, Ford, General Motors, and many other US corporations saw huge profits following the coup due to favorable policies enacted by the government, including a violent campaign against labor unions, slashing corporate tax liability, a divestment in education and public services, and many other policies aimed to sell off the rights and riches of the Chilean working class. So, remember this the next time the US tries to sell you a war.